The Montreux from Pierre Leroy in 1766 is an exceptional timepiece. Marine chronometers are measuring tools designed to keep time on board of the ship as precisely as possible. This data was crucial to determine the longitude on board. Pierre Leroy is one of the early contributors to the development of these marvelous technological artifacts. This marine watch is the result of over 20 years of research and prototyping in order to approach true isochronism. Isochronism can be summarized as the timekeeping ability of a chronometer in a fluctuating environment. The philosophy underlying this masterpiece is inspired by the words of Descartes that the simplest things are usually the most excellent. Contemporary plates are showing mismatched wheels and hands, which confirms the prototype aspects of the timepiece. The mechanism is composed by a mainspring barrel containing the mainspring, allowing a charging time of 38 hours, followed in line by the first wheel, the intermediary wheel, the second wheel, and the escapement wheel. The mechanism ought to be as simple as possible. A lantern pinion is used to connect the minute wheel and the off-centered hour wheel. The hour wheel rotates in an anti-clockwise fashion to alleviate the need of a friction-inducing extra wheel. The pivoted detent escapement introduced by Pierre Leroy is used to transfer energy from the mechanism to the regulator. The escape wheel transmits an impulse to the balance every second. The balance is left undisturbed during the rest of its path. Here is a magnified view of the impulse phase. The rotational speed of the second hand directly depends on the regulator frequency. The heavy regulator is suspended to a harpsichord string to reduce wear. The axis is maintained laterally between friction rolls. The regulator is designed to optimize what Pierre Leroy calls the regulating power and what is called accumulated kinetic energy by today's standards. The balance mass, its distance from the center, and the elasticity of the springs are parameters contributing to the regulating power. Pierre Leroy is the first watchmaker known to have pointed out the impact of the spring anchor point on isochronism. Isochronism is the ability of a regulator to maintain a constant frequency despite motor force variations. Manual adjustment of frequency is done through a set of screws placed in opposition on the bottom balance plate. Inward displacement of the mass increases the frequency, whilst outward displacement has the opposite effect. This principle also served as a basis for the design of the thermal compensation mechanism. In a regulator, any increase in temperature causes a slight displacement of the mass outward and decreases the elasticity of the springs. The opposite occurs with the lowering of temperature. The oscillation frequency decreases or increases accordingly. In his design, the alcohol expands or contracts, inducing the displacement of the mercury inwards or outwards to compensate frequency deviation caused by temperature variations. This method doesn't require any modification of the spring anchor point. Pierre Leroy's research has had a significant impact on the development of marine chronometers and wearable watches. Another video will be describing the history behind this masterpiece.